Get organized and get your dream job. I'm sure you heard the saying, he who fails to plan, plans to fail. Now this applies to every aspect of your life, but especially when it comes to finding a job and the job you like and the job you want as a dream job. So your diligent planning and organization will spell sure success in your job search. Number one, make lists. Lists are crucial to your success. Make a list of what you want from the company you want to work for. Make a list of your skills and what you can contribute to the company. Make a list of the companies that you would like to work for. Number two, do research. I cannot stress enough how important doing research is. I've had videos on this and I've talked about it a lot. I think it's very, very important, uh, that research phase. So once you're clear on what companies you're looking for, or what, you're, what you're looking for in a company, start your research. Research companies that have those things that you want. Find out what co their company culture is like and if it's a good fit for you. Sometimes you can find current and previous employees that have worked for the company and they give reviews online and that's going to help you quite a bit. But remember, you should take these reviews with a grain of salt. It may not be everything it's cracked up to be. But still, these reviews can be helpful in determining whether this company is a fit for you or if it's something you don't really want to be part of. It may fit your overall needs, but pay attention to those and, and like I said, take it with a grain of salt. You'll, you'll be able to figure it out. Number three, get to work. Now that you have clear objectives, it's time to work on your CV or your resume and adjust it to fit those companies that you're going to apply for, their needs, so that you fit into what they are looking for. I've said this before, and it's pretty crucial that your, your CV or your resume is tailor-made for each one of the companies you're going to apply for. Does the company you're going to apply for have a more relaxed atmosphere or a casual group approach? So when filling out that resume, you don't want to sound too verbose or sound like a stuffed shirt. And conversely, if the company is very formal, you don't want to sound too relaxed in the things you write in your CV or resume. So this customization that you're going to be doing on each one of these uh, resumes or CVs is going to make you stand out for that particular company. It's going to make a difference between the other people that are applying and you. You definitely don't want to have one of those cookie cutter resumes. That's out of the question. You have to make it custom to each company. Number four, stay organized. Keep organized notes on everything you've done. And it doesn't matter if you choose to do this in physical folders and have it in a desk somewhere or if you want to do it on a file on your computer. It's imperative to have notes so you can follow up on what you've done and, what you've and see what you've accomplished. It also helps to mark down or jot down what, what's happened if you've got a call back and what you're going to say. Look at those notes. Make sure you're on top of everything with this. Because it's your future. It's your future job. And it's important to keep those notes. Preparation is the key. If you're well prepared, you're going to feel accomplished, empowered, and in control. And this will translate into your job search. And when you go on interviews, you will radiate composure, confidence, and professionalism. So have fun and get that job you look for. Have a great day, guys. Appreciate you being here. Check out the links below. We'll talk to you later. Ciao, ciao.